Wouldn't it be convenient to be able to create, modify, and share your own drawings online in real time? Well, now you can with Google Drawings. Drawings is a free program included with a free Google Mail account. In a few easy steps, you can draw a map, diagram, or sketch, and then send it to a friend. Once you begin a drawing in Google Drawings, you can name it and lock it with privacy settings. If you mark your drawing private only to me, then you can choose who can view or add to the drawing by selecting users from your Google contacts. Your drawings can include shapes, lines, colors, text, and even images from your computer or the web. You want to create a diagram to illustrate the landscape design for your new backyard. You will use Google Drawings to add and edit the lines in the diagram. The first thing we need to do is open a new drawing file. All Google Docs files are saved in a folder within your Google account. Any type of Google Doc that you've previously created will be listed here. For our drawing, we need to create a new file, so let's create one now. We want to draw a diagram, so let's open a new drawing. We now have a new blank canvas for drawing the diagram. Before we start, let's name our drawing. All drawings are given the default title, Untitled Drawing. We can change that name by clicking in the Title field. The Rename Document dialog box opened, and from here we can type in a new drawing name. Let's call this diagram Landscape. Now you just need to confirm the new name by clicking the OK button. Before you start drawing, it's always a good idea to have a plan for what you want the final result to look like. In this case, we're drawing a diagram for a landscape design. We already know that there will be a fence on one side and a pond in the corner. So we'll need to draw two different lines. Let's start with the fence. We'll begin by selecting the line button on the toolbar. The line representing the fence will run along the back side of the yard, which will be near the top of the canvas. So we'll add a line that extends from just below the upper left corner to just below the upper right corner of the canvas. To draw a line, simply click a starting point, drag the mouse to the ending point, and then release the mouse. We've included green and blue boxes to indicate the starting and stopping points. This is a good line, but it doesn't really look like a fence yet. Let's modify it some so that the line is a little thicker. We can do this using the Line Width button. Line Width can be changed to anywhere from 1 pixel to 24 pixels. This line needs to be about twice the thickness that it is now, so let's choose the 4 pixels option.
We're getting closer to how a fence really looks, but let's change the pattern of the line to more closely resemble a real fence. We'll use the dashes button to do this. Notice that the solid line is currently selected because there is a check mark next to it. A fence would look better represented with evenly spaced dashes, so let's choose the third option in the list. Now that the fence looks good, let's focus on the next line, which will be for the pond. The pond will be in the back right side of the yard which is the upper right corner of our canvas. You may be wondering how to draw a shape with a line, but luckily Google Drawings offers several types of lines that can be used to draw free forms and shapes easily. The more common lines are available on the toolbar, but let's open the Insert menu to see all of the available line types. Notice the various line types in the menu. In addition to straight lines, we can create arrows, curves, polylines, arcs, and scribbles. We're going to draw a pond, which will be a curved, freeform shape. So let's use the curve line. Drawing a curved line is a little different than drawing a straight line. Instead of clicking and dragging, we will click to set beginning and end points for several curved line segments. In our case, we're creating a closed shape for our pond, so we will need to create several lines to accomplish this. We'll start by clicking where we'd like the first line to begin. We've included a blue box here to show you where to click. To end this line and begin the next, we need to click where we want the first line to stop. We're going to create a line that extends up and to the right. Essentially, this next click will become the first curve in our pond shape. Now we can draw the line to the next stopping point, which will be slightly up and to the left. Again, we've added a box to show you where to click. Notice that the shape now looks a little like a boomerang. We'll need to click again to anchor the next stopping point. We'll be angling slightly down and to the left. The final stroke will be what turns the curved lines into a closed shape. For this to work correctly, our last click must end at our original starting point. In the actual drawings application, when the cursor gets close to the starting point, the line will actually snap to the starting point. Clicking will then set the line and close the shape. Notice that the curved lines formed a closed dashed line shape. It was drawn as a dashed line because that is the last line type we applied. If desired, we could easily change it to a solid line using the dashes button we just used to change the line representing the fence. For now though, we just want to change where the pond is located in the yard. First, we need to select it using a button on the toolbar. When we clicked the Select button, it automatically selected the pond, which was the last object drawn, and placed selection boxes around it. These selection boxes indicate that we can now click and drag it wherever we want on the canvas. We want to reposition the pond near the upper right corner. Now that we have it where we want it, let's change the color of the pond. We can change both the outline color and the fill color. The shape is still selected, so let's begin by changing the outline color. We can use the Line Color button to change the color of any line or outline. This palette contains a variety of colors to choose from. Let's change the outline of the pond to a medium blue. To change the color of any filled shape, we can use the Fill Color Palette on the toolbar. Let's make the fill blue as well, but a little lighter than the outline.
We're well on our way to completing a diagram for the landscape design. Although Google frequently saves for us, let's go ahead and save this drawing now. You've now seen how easy it is to use some of the line drawing tools in Google Drawings. Although we use just a couple of the tools, other types of lines are drawn in a similar manner. With a little practice, you can learn to master them all.